This video is on cloud models. When you access resources like servers, storage, databases, networking, and intelligence over the internet, it's called cloud. Subscribers or users pay for features they need and adjust those services as needed. Cloud allows you to access resources from anywhere in the world and deploy it in hours, days, or weeks. But not all clouds are the same, and not every business requirements for cloud computing is the same. For the Security Plus exam, there are eight different cloud models you need to know. Infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, software as a service, anything as a service, community, public, private, and hybrid clouds. First, we have the infrastructure as a service. This is where you pay for computing resources to the cloud service provider that you can access through the internet. The vendor provides the storage, network, servers, and the virtualization. Resources are scalable and elastic in near real time and meter by use. Example is Amazon Web Services or Cisco Metapod. Then we have the Platform as a Service. Platform as a Service delivers a framework for developers that they can build upon and use to create customized applications. Platform as a Service is designed to facilitate the fast development of web or mobile apps for developers without setting or maintaining the underlying server, storage, network, and database infrastructure needed for development. Example is Google App Engine. Next, we have Software as a Service. If you have used web-based email services such as Outlook, Hotmail, then you already use a form of Software as a Service. Software as a Service is a software licensing and delivery model in which software is licensed on a subscription basis and is centrally hosted. Software as a Service eliminates the need to have IT staff download and install applications on each individual computer. With Software as a Service, vendors manage all potential technical issues such as data, middleware, server storage resulting in streamlined maintenance and support for the business. Examples are Google Workspace and Dropbox. Next, we have Anything as a Service. Anything as a Service refers to a broad category of cloud computing and can include multiple as a service. It acknowledges the vast number of products, tools, and technologies that are now delivered as a service to users via the internet. Next, we have the Community Cloud. Treat this like a forum for a specific topic. It is a collaborative effort in which infrastructure is shared between several organizations from a specific community with common concerns. It provides a cloud computing solution to a small number of people or businesses while being administered and managed by a single entity. Lastly, we have public, private, and hybrid. In a public cloud, you share the same hardware storage and network devices with other organizations. It's like having a roommate. Private cloud consists of cloud computing resources used exclusively by one business or organization. The private cloud can be physically located at your organization's on-site data center or it can be hosted by a third-party service provider. Services and infrastructures are always maintained on private network and the hardware and software are dedicated solely to your organization. Public is cheaper but private provides flexibility with more control and security. Hybrid integrates public and private together. Hybrid cloud allows data and apps to move between two environments. It provides greater versatility and allows further deployment. It improves the existing infrastructure protection and enforcement by allowing data and applications to migrate between private and public clouds. Hybrid cloud is evolving to include edge workload as well. Edge computing brings the computing power to cloud to Internet of Things devices close to where the data resides. By moving workloads to the edge, devices spend less time communicating with the cloud, reducing latency, and they are able to operate reliably in extended offline periods.